so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing and demoing for you guys this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. That is why I don't have any makeup on right now and I look a little bit crazy because I am in the process of doing my eye makeup. Today's video is going to be about this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer 2-in-1. I've heard a lot of people talking about this foundation and I actually got it when it first first came out and launched at Sephora and I only had used it once before and the reason why I did not continue to use it is because it was way too pink for me. I had gotten the shade 11 Honey, which actually says it has more of a golden undertone. But it was just way too neutral and way too dark for me, so I just stopped using it. The first time I did use it, I did think it was like way too cakey. It was way too much. And I think I used way too much of the product. And plus, I didn't like the color, so I just never used it. But I decided to give it a second try and actually buy my right color. So today, I am using number 8, Golden Neutral. So this is allergy tested, 100% fragrance free moderate to full coverage and it has a neutral matte finish or a natural matte finish and then it says this foundation and concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel naturally flawless look lasts all day for all over coverage or use to spot conceal and it is oil free which is really great because me I have oil because I myself have oily skin so I'm always looking for a foundation that is oily free and I love um, medium to full coverage foundations and it's very important for me that the foundation lasts on my skin all day long because um, you have the time I don't bring up I don't bring stuff in my purse to like touch up my skin with so this foundation does retail for $27 you can find it at Sephora Carson's any clinic count yeah $27 I actually think is a pretty decent price for a more high-end foundation it it's not that bad and they also have over like 19 different colors so I'm sure that you could find your shade in this they have an awesome shade selection Clinique is always really great about that say on the website that it is a 12 hour wear breathable formula um, and it's ideal for dr very dry to combination oily skin types and it dries slowly for easy blending get lasting coverage and give skin a perfected look that stays put even through sweat and humidity and it says that one dip at the wand gives you a full face application. It does say that shades may appear deeper when first applied. Once blended, once blended completely and allowed to dry, Beyond Perfecting Makeup will blend into your skin for Beyond Perfected Flawless Look and a little bit goes a long way. So I do agree with that. I'll say that due to the rich pigment level that enhances this flawless coverage makeup, shades may appear deeper when first applied. And I definitely do think that because when I first applied this, I thought it was going to be way too dark for my skin. But once I started blending it in and, it, and once it started to dry on my skin, I felt like it blended in a lot better with like my neck and everything. My face is a lot lighter than my neck because of course I exfoliate more my skin, my face, than I actually do my neck. So this foundation may matches my neck perfectly so let's just go ahead and get started with a demo so that way I could tell you guys more about the foundation it does come with a huge like wand here first I wasn't crazy about it because I was like I'm putting it on my face sticking it back in the jar bacteria like what if I'm breaking out and everything um so far I've been using this for like the past three weeks and I haven't had any issues with that though um one thing is is that I always do have to use a primer for my oily skin when I use this because I have extremely oily skin and I notice that if I don't prime my skin with mattifying primers I do tend to get oilier with this foundation especially around my nose and um so today I'm going to be using my Professional Matte Rescue Primer. It does say that it is good for dry skin and I definitely feel like it would be good for dry skin because even when I have more dry patches or areas on my face, um, it never clings to those areas or makes it look drier or anything. And, but I noticed with this one especially, I have to use a matte fine primer. And I'm just going to be extra and I'm going to be using my NYX Angel Veil does have a natural matte finish. It's not completely matte or drying on the skin though. So I'm going to be applying this using my beauty blender. So I'm going to start this out down here. Definitely a little bit of this foundation goes a very long way. 
And as you guys know, if you guys been watching my foundation reviews and demos for quite a while now, I usually like to use the Beauty Blender on one side and a brush on the other just to kind of compare it for you guys because not everyone likes to use a Beauty Blender, not everyone has a Beauty Blender, like to use their brush. They like, uh, f they, they have their favorite foundation brush. So on this side, I am going to be using a foundation brush. So as you guys can see, this area, I know it looks really golden on this side, but as you can see, it does match my neck, and you can really just see how it covered everything. My skin looks very smooth and flawless, and a little bit of it goes a long way. I see the difference. I do have a lot more redness on this side, a little bit more like um, acne scarring, stuff like that, but it does such a great job at covering my skin, and everything just looks really perfect. It does not look cakey whatsoever. Now it does have more of a natural finish on your skin. I do need to set this foundation because it does look a little bit shiny right now, but it doesn't look dewy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the same foundation on this side with a brush. I'm going to just do three stripes right here on my cheek, and then the rest just on my forehead and just get rid of any extra product. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush just to buff this foundation in. I like to press the foundation into my skin whenever I am blending out foundation with a brush. I like to push it into my skin and then I will start to buff it out. But I just find that that gives me much better coverage. As you guys can see, it has covered everything. Even on this side, everything is still covered. It still looks flawless. But me, myself, in this mirror, I can still see some little breakouts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more coverage in those areas. This foundation is buildable. So I just put it in any areas where I want more coverage. I'm not going to say that, oh, you could keep building, building, building on top and it will never get cakey. Because I've done that or I put like a second layer on. And I feel like you can do a second light layer. But don't go and, um, but I wouldn't recommend that you go and like put a bunch of foundation on top of your first layer. Because I feel like that is when it starts to get cakey and starts to look like just too much on your skin but just by doing like little spot correcting like how I did it's like perfect so now you can see like really how nice and smooth it looks and it just makes my skin look just so flawless personally I don't like to use a foundation as a concealer underneath my eyes um, I also set that with my Milani 2-in-1 foundation because you can also conceal with that I do think that this has the power to conceal any um, under eye darkness, circles, whatever you may have to cover. I do think that it will get the job done, but me personally, a foundation to cut as a concealer is a little bit, and especially this one, is a little bit too thick for me. So I'm not going to use that today to conceal my under eye. I'm going to go ahead and use my Tarte. Uh, Rainforest of the C concealer because it's just a little bit. It's just a much lighter weight formula I like my concealer to be one shade lighter than the rest of my foundation So I'm going to go ahead and finish my concealer up and then we will continue on with Alrighty guys, so I just finished up my concealer. I set it with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, now to get back to the skin, like I said, it is looking really nice and natural. It's really sitting into my skin nicely. And one of my favorite things about this foundation is that it does not settle in these crease lines. I feel like even though it's been sitting on my skin and I have not set it with any powder, it has not creased right here. And that is a huge thing for me because I hate it. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when a foundation creases right here throughout the day. I love to set this foundation with is I've been using my MAC Studio Fit powder I am really running low on this powder I have just the outer edges left and then I also really like to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder I will just put some here in the cap a big brush swirl it in the cap and then set my whole face now the way I set this foundation is I just 
press it into my skin. The reason why I'm setting my whole face is because, like I said, I have oily skin and I like my face to be matte, but to actually set my nose area because, like I said, my nose is always the first to get oily. Now, you want to use a very lightweight powder with this. I wouldn't recommend like packing on a super heavy foundation powder. But as you can see right now, it looks really great. It's mattified now. Um, nothing looks cakey. It actually, it just looks like my skin because we didn't have to do a lot of So I finished up the rest of my face makeup right now. And so I just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Everything blends in so well with this foundation on top of it, especially if you set it that I feel like is one of the most important things because um, you have this liquid cream foundation on your face and then you go and put a powder on top of it and start like blending it out whether you're doing contouring blush or whatever and I feel like it's so important to set this foundation um, even if it's with the most lightweight setting powder for also it is very long wearing on me again I do need not saying that I don't need a touch up at all because I always need a touch up in my nose area but foundation always usually separates on me in this t-zone area when I blot you can see in the demo when I wanted to cover up a few more I only put it in those select areas because if you do do another full layer on your skin it might start to look a little bit cakey so you just want to be careful with how much you put if you do have an area Area where you want to cover just do little dots and then blend it in little by little another thing is is that you do have time to build up this foundation it is very buildable it doesn't dry very quickly just like the website says so that way you can build it up and blend it out like that wet foundation look then you are going to want to set it because this foundation does take a while to finally set down and dry on your skin but I absolutely love the way it makes my face look um, it just makes it look so flawless not cakey whatsoever Whatsoever. Um, I think that's all I have to say about this foundation. I highly recommend it. I love it. I definitely feel like it's a medium to full coverage foundation. Again, depending on how much you build up of it. But I am just so obsessed with this foundation. This has just been my go-to foundation. It is just so easy to use and to blend out. I've tried out this foundation. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on it in the comments down below. And if you guys found this helpful, please like and share my video. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. I don't know if there are any more foundations that you guys would like for me to review I love trying out foundations that is like one of my um, favorite things to do with makeup is I'm always trying out a new foundation so let me know if you guys have any requests for me to subscribe so that way you guys can be notified every time I upload a video so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys all in my next one bye I'm gonna now do like a shot of cold air with a cool setting on the blow dryer and this is going to help to lock in